Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days Day 30. It's been a long road. Getting from there to here. And although we've come to the end of the road, I just can't let go. So let's go for one more day. <laughs> Today. That's it. I'm not actually saying we do 31 inks. So, here is a look at yesterday's ink, which was Sailor Yurameku Seki. I had it in this Cosmos titanium nib. The dried splat is pretty magnificent. Um, this was not the best combination. <laughs> I don't think this nib um, really likes dry inks, or maybe... It just is that how it's, it was going to be no matter what. So I'm not sure. Um, but let's look at today. I'm just uh, typing up uh, the last of this time. Random numbers. Oh, between 0 and 25. And we have 6. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is... The, the polar opposite of the ink that we just did. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> number six is Van Diemen's Sea Urchin. Um, and I think I, 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 there's a part of me that feels like I already did this ink, but I mean, it shouldn't be in here if I did it. Should we look back and just make sure? Uh, I am slowly digging through the remaining 25 samples. How many? Nope. Oh. Here we go. Let's look. Did we do it previously? No, I'm confusing it with bioluminescence and ghost ship. So, sea urchin. Get you out of here. Um, find a pen. We could do a finer nib with this one. Or we could do a broader nib. What do we think, friends? Finer, broader, finer, broader. There's a few pens that you haven't seen that I haven't used. I kind of like that if we're doing like polar opposites that we lean in. So I had a broad nib with a dry ink. Let's try a fine nib with a wet ink. This would have been nice with that. But you can only pick one pen. I mean, unless you don't. Unless you're like, I'm going to put this ink in all my pens. Which I might do. That might be a thing we do in the future. No promises, but I've been thinking of it. Now, there's like no way that I'm going to be able to fill this from here. But there's this part of me that's like, but I should try. Right? Maybe I'll be wrong. No. You know what, Maria? You're not going to be wrong. It's not going to work, and that's okay. What are you doing? How are you today? Can you believe that November is at an end? I feel like we were just fresh-faced youth some mo A moment ago, dribbling ink onto the side of our stuff. I'm trying to think of like at the start of the month, what was I looking forward to and how did that go for me? What 
Let's think of that just in an inky capacity, though. Well, I was hoping that I would sort of be forced to use more inks that are not my usual jam. And that happened. I, uh... I had hoped I would use up, a, well not use up, but use a bunch of the ink flight inks that I've gotten. And that happened. Those are all exciting things. Okay, now I'm just gonna dip this. Reminds me of playing that game operation. You know, like carefully lower, straight down, so you don't touch the side. Bzzz. What a freaking funny bone. That was a hard one, wasn't it? So narrow. There were birds on my little porchy area earlier. Be bopping around. I've never seen birds back there before. Well, I mean hummingbirds, sure. But they don't like get on the ground and like bop, bop, bop from place to place like these other birds did. You know, the little fluffy ones. Sparrows? I don't know about birds. Not corvids. Okay, let's see if this works. I think if you make this kind of a shape, then your finished thing will be kind of a shape, and that's cool. Um, so, you know the next month, the 30 days, is, is April. What are we going to do between now and then? If you have any suggestions or requests, leave them in the comments. I have some ideas, but I don't know. So 30 inks, 30 days, November 2022, day 30. Ink. Fan. Demons. Sea urchin. Pen. Laban. Rainbows. By the way, this going dry like this is not the pen. This is because I had to to fill it through it, you know. This pen never, never has writing problems. The nib is like bounce, like a bounce castle. Boing, boing, boing. I think it's because it's only held back here. There's like a lot of play in it. I get worried. Um, the ink doesn't appear to be flowing. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait a moment. Let's look at our chromatography that we let go for too long. Kind of neat. What it looks like to me is that back here there's like a yellow, a purple, a blue, and then over it all a black. It's like a curtain of, of black. Boy, if that's not a metaphor for depression. 
Is it? I don't know. Okay, let's let uh, we're gonna let this sit a little and we'll be RB. That actually was really quick. But I got paper towel in the tines. That might be like life pro tip to make your pin right more broadly. Just stick some paper towel in the tines. Okay, let's see. I think this is a fine. I hope it's not an extra fine, but who knows? Let's do another. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay, now it's the final splat down. I've been productive today so far. Clean my kitchen floors. Uh, washed some fabric. Washed some towels. Took a walk. Okay. Yep. Love it. There, it looks just like a sea urchin. <clears throat> I love that there's like this where the paper towel is. It's pretty great. Um, I scheduled the same meeting three or four different times today. Had to keep moving them. That was exciting. I always feel so like dumb when that happens. Like the people getting the invitation like, woman, make up your mind. But I'm sure they know <laughs> that I don't have much of a choice. So here we are. I actually really love that I have this like bright rainbow pen and this dark ink. Um, and if I look at this, I wanna, so I would describe the color as like a super dark, I mean, to me it reads as a very, very, very dark purple, but I could also see it is like a red leaning black um with this green sheen and so the green sheen does come through on the writing I don't know if that's going to come through here but you can definitely see the sheen on the swatch card all in all this has been a fun 30 inks experience um once this is dry I will update my little like calendar e-page um and I have been continuing with my uh writing stuff and what I plan on doing I've actually taken notes every day on how I felt about things and I will do a wrap up and talk to you about um any particular hits or misses um so anything that was really stand out to me, whether it was a particular pen, a particular ink, or a particular combination. So thank you for being with me on this 30 inks journey. Um, I have appreciated your companionship and oops, our conversations. Um, and I can't wait to... Uh, See you in some new inky videos. 
I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Um, take care of yourself. Bye.